Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna edit a couple more photos. Uh, I want to keep it as often as I can in my spare time and I just want to document my editing process. Uh, so let's get started before um, just want to say thank you on my Instagram. I'm almost reaching um, 18,000 posts so 72 more posts to go. 72 more posts uh, to reach 18,000 posts over the last six years. I started Instagram in the um, 2013 July. So this July will be the sixth, uh, sixth year of uh, Instagram. So um, thank you so much for the support over the Instagram. And let's get started. And this is a sunset photos uh, within half an hour of sunset. Uh, we were in the West Sacramento near the levee. So um, let's get started. I'm um, first of all the this is uh, the raw file from the Fujifilm XT3 56 mm f 1.2 shooting at 1.2 1 over 1,100 seconds ISO 160. So first thing um, I can add a little bit warmer to here or you can just uh, play around with the. Uh, let me use back the mouse so that it's faster. Auto should be too cold. So usually I found that uh, Fuji Frame Auto is very cold. Uh, daylight or cloudy is nice, warm. S shot um, is also warm. So I can start on the cloudy or uh, on the shade. The shade has even warmer. So you can play around with the uh, white balance uh, in the raw files. I've been shooting raw for about three and a half weeks now. So far so good. Uh, so I can start on the uh, warm tone. And the one, the shade is about 7500. If you want to make it similar and manually adjust, you can just make it 7500. And I'm gonna do 4x5 crop cropping 4x5 in here so make sure the head is near the top third area it leaves a lot more headroom because the head is tilted up a little bit and so that's the crop and I, you can take a look at here at the same time as well so let me see let me crop a little bit more to the right hand side increase some more contrast and the shadow a little bit shadow uh whites uh i don't need a lot of whites in here just slightly subtle the dark a little bit dark also created more contrast but the shadow increase a little bit more okay so this is before and after after this basic adjustment before after after basic adjustment clarity slightly because um, go down a little bit because it's a soft uh, sunset image and um, you can adjust the uh, vibrant vibrant is uh, controlling um, let me see it The saturation controlling the overall image saturation. I can just do minus my vibrance slightly a little bit, and I can come back here later on as well. And let me get back to the split tone. Ah, oh, sorry, the tone curve. Let me do it here, here. Put down the dark, a little bit of the fade. Put down slightly a little bit more for the mid tone. So, and you can see before and after it create a stronger, um, stronger mid tone area. And then let me see. Before, after, before, after. I can crop a little bit more because so it's tighter. 
Okay. Slightly adjust. Yeah. Okay. Move down the white a little bit. So the contrast. Okay, that's what that looks good to me. And then this is in charge of the orange. I might put a little bit more toward the orange side. And a little more the yellow you can reduce and but more toward the orange side okay there's not much green in here This controlling the purple, I add a little bit more purple in here and make it darker. Let's see, slightly a little bit magenta. Okay, the red only slightly red. Okay, the next one. Spread tone in. Even though the whole image is already warm, so I can add a little bit more of the warm color. Okay, so there's the before and after uh, again. Okay, so I think I need more dark in here. At the same time, slightly increase the shadow. Increase this slightly, tiny bit. You open five, so that it's brighter. It creates a strong feeling in here. So a lot of headroom. So for the breathing room. Let me move slightly more toward this side <coughs> and um, that looks good to me so before and after the next one is similar I can copy copy and then check the next one and then paste it to the next one so it's very similar Okay, so next one, a lot of people uh, saw the image uh, portraiture 3 and I'm gonna use that. From the last uh, video, I already adjust some adjustments so that I can show you a little bit. Um, the adjustment I did is um, negative 5 on the fine. You can adjust this uh, according to your image, uh, but just for helpful if you want to do it as a reference and then medium is zero large plus eight threshold i put it 34 instead of 40 smoothing i put it 89 percent so that's uh, where i found uh, it's more helpful on this one so that it has a right amount of smooth and not too smooth uh, for me so that's my setting in case anyone wants to check it out you know um i'm just gonna do a quick Edit. If there are no major uh, spot, I don't need to use the removal uh, tool. And so you can see that tip uh, is already here. So and I'm usually doing Control sh Shift, the Command Shift E to export 100% of the quality. I like 100% quality JPEG export. Anything else didn't change and just save. And the next one, I'm gonna edit a silhouette photo also. So let me see which one. So this one, this one. This one has a cake in the back. Let me see if this one is 
bright enough I can pull out the shadow a little bit and then so this is my that process to see if the image is worth to do the editing or not but um, sometimes I just pull the shadow to see if it's good enough so that's the advantage of shooting raw I guess um, so since la three weeks ago I started to experimenting raw and then since I have been shooting JPEG for six years already so it's good to learn something new new skill and to help my photography journey and I just want to use these videos uh, to document my photography journey so let me see I can increase the um, exposure decrease the highlight and clarity slightly adjust you can just slightly adjust the security uh -huh. and then the white white can reduce a little bit more black can reduce a little bit more even I can increase the contrast and then put it back here and there's a good thing about this is um, you can use the tool brushing tool just to brush up a little bit so you can use the shadow a little bit maybe 20 or 18 just slightly to brush up the shadow area it seems too obvious to me now it's become unnatural so I will just undo that and let me see maybe eight yeah just so just slightly brush up a little bit so that it created that uh, some slight see before and after before after this just a very subtle difference uh, I can even even do it more subtle and increase the contrast after that and increase the exposure as a whole definitely increase the warm because the overall image I can set it warm or just like what I did in the previous one I make it cloudy or shade shade is a 7500 then you can reduce back to 7200 around their area and the dark definitely need more dark uh, in here so if you're a lot of dark you become back to the silhouette and lost the detail on the dark us already so I'm just doing the right amount of the dark in here and for this one let me try the mid-tone adjustment adjust these couple things for the darkness increase the mid-tone a little bit more and then slightly fade it up okay so let me go back here Yep, so that's okay. So overall from this feeling here it feels good. Um actually I don't even need to adjust this. The color looks good and let me see, just maybe slightly add some more here. The yellow increase the orange yeah. okay so then I think that's good to me uh, from the far away because the uh, pull the, the shadow a lot that's why you see some noise but that's fine um, overall image I like the tom overall image uh, in here and if you want the uh, um, portraiture 3 you can just do it like that and let me try it out to just to see what's going on um, so once it pops and then I select the skin color in here and then click OK and then it generated um, a tip file 
so and I'm gonna save save as the full size okay so the next one I'm gonna edit so these two are the Fujifilm style I'm gonna just edit one for the uh, Canon also so this one and I'm gonna use the welcome tablet just for fun increase the highlight save let me see the shadow shadow actually I can decrease a little bit more this is the highlight the more you pull down the less white in the white area and let's see okay highlight save you can do it from here also so let me go back up increase the warm but not too warm okay exposure increase the contrast shadow you can have a little bit more Shadow. This is clarity, clarity. Just make it slightly. Okay. Let me see what else. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna make it darker also the skin feels warm let me try it okay I'm, I might just do a desaturate on here so not too much okay you can see that this was my shadow also but um, later when I'm doing a crop I can just crop to 4x5 but the first thing I don't think people will look at the shadow but the first thing is actually in the eyes I'm just leave that there and I'm gonna desaturate the green also because it's a little bit distracted in the back and the lumin luminous so let me adjust here and yesterday I saw the patch tool also so if you don't need it you don't you don't even need the patch tool so I can just show the patch tool here like you can just highlight if you don't want certain thing here that if you want like a more smoother background to remove less destruction on the color tone you can just remove them um, what you can do in here also you can just cop doing the whole thing so that if you want cleaner images then you can just do it right here you know I just choose the uh, one that fits well if you don't want to do that you can use another technique um, let me do control C and if you don't want just if you want to leave it there just make sure um, the green is desaturated and then luminance is down also so you can do it like that even a little bit less blue in here this this blue control the um, the pants color I like the deeper blue in here so let me go back this one okay just show you some patching using the patch tool okay and then this one so that it is a cleaner corner so by default 
like that so that it is cleaner color okay okay so even this one sometimes if you feel like it's shaky just remove that from here and then that's it so if you want cleaner background just uh, make sure that it's uh, select certain thing to uh, to subtract it out in the background so that it has more constant um, that's just a demonstration you can base on your own feed uh, what what not needed just remove in and let me see so if I have a code front let me see actually this sounds good to me also and then if I have a warm from the outside Um, create a frame tone to me and let me see this one is too strong okay so it's around here Around here is good. Okay. Okay, so that's the edit in this one. It's kind of like sunny style. And after this, you can do a quick one and then just see what happened. After that, and I um, can do the um, Control Shift E. So that's um, that's the editing today, and I think thanks uh, for supporting my Instagram also. So you can check out my feed, Instagram feed. I'm gonna finish uh, eighteen thousand posts probably around next month, August so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more content coming up in both youtube and instagram bye